392. You owe me lunch now. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Thank maybe like 8, 10 actually. So like an hour and 50 minutes early. And they only had 10 and they had one controller. So we got in line and luckily they, they sold it to us an hour before they were supposed to open. There were already 10 people in line. So it was one per person. So we each got one. So this is what they look like. 60 bucks plus tax, unfortunately. Um, you should have used your tax certificate, Michelle. Mm, no, I don't want them saying anything like, uh, um, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we don't We don't want them saying nothing. If we had to pull out a tax resale certificate, they'd be like, oh, well. Does it come with one control? Because it, it really is up to them who they sell it to, so it comes with one control. So we got two of them. So now the Best Buy, the town over, they got... They all have different qualities. Like the Walmarts have like nothing. The GameStops have like nothing. The Toys R Us had it like 20. So that was a decent amount, I guess. The Best Buy, as far as I know, has a lot, like 50 or more. And they said a limit of three per person. Uh, you know, who knows if that's really the case or not. Probably not when, when, when the line, when they see the line. So. We're going now. I don't know what's going to happen, but I figure it's worth the drive out there. I don't really have anyone in the area to, to call and kind of just ask what the situation looks like out there. So we're just going to go. We're going for about 200, I think, online right now. So obviously, it's a decent little flip right there. And all the people that are butthurt, the other people selling, reselling shit, you can get over it. Because the thing is fucking retarded anyway. You can get a Raspberry Pi for $30 with every Nintendo game that ever came out. Not just 30. This thing has no, no, nothing has been mentioned about expanding on this. This could be only 30 games forever. You can get a Raspberry Pi for $30 with a controller and have all the games. So what is the difference? There's no difference except this is made by Nintendo and it's a much inferior version to what you can make yourself. So it is what it is. As long as people are willing to pay three, four times the price, don't hate the player, hate the game. That's all I can say. <laughs> hate the game because uh, as, long as, you, as long as people out there are going to pay crazy prices, there's gonna be resellers out there, so it is what it is. So or get in line earlier than well, us. Yeah, or get in line earlier, right? Most of the stores have a limit of one per customer anyway, so I don't know what people like that are worried about, you know, anyway. 99% of places is one per customer. All right, so we're, 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 we're almost there, five minutes away. We'll film the situation. I have, I have a feeling it's not gonna be a good situation. I think it's gonna be crazy. So uh, we'll see what we'll see what it looks like. What number are you? Thirty-three. Thirty-three. I am number thirty-two. Best Buy. Best Buy has probably the most out of any store that we've gone to. It is what, 40 minutes before they open? What time are they 10 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we were successful.
get one each at two locations. So we have four. So we bought it for 60, looking to sell for around 200. So that is 140 profit each minus tax. So we didn't want to use our resale certificate and who knows? I don't know. I don't think they could have denied selling it, but you never know. And then we spent the rest of the day busting our ass going through a few pallets of books. And this is what we got out of those. So we got a tug, we got a box, overflowing box, another box underneath, a bag, and then this stuff over here. And one thing to show you guys, books that look like crap are not necessarily crap when they're in a set. So grouped crap, can have value. This is like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. We got this Seinfeld collection thing here. So this is cool. These are like 30 merchant, 80 FBA. So I don't know why there's such a huge gap there, but this will fetch something. And then we have these two really busted looking um, dictionaries. Older dictionaries. I just sold that exact set for ninety dollars. Believe it or not, uh, so those sell good. So we did pretty well on those. Uh, those were paying. We paid one hundred sixty-eight dollars for like. I don't even know twenty, twenty-three hundred pounds of books or so. So we did pretty well on those. But the but the uh, little Nintendo guys here. These are. You know, I listed it on Craigslist and I've gotten like a million messages. People from all over the place. Only half of the people are serious, but see what happens. I'd rather sell them local so I don't have to ship it out. Don't have to deal with potential returns. And then we have the infamous lone Hatchimal. We have one Hatchimal left. And uh, this is a Draggle. We have a Draggle. And uh, so we'll see what happens with this. My wife wants to keep it. I think it's ridiculous. I think we should make the money, but we'll see. She's giving me the finger. Uh, so that's about it. And then we got some stuff from Walmart. So I do a lot of the online arbitrage. We got a bunch of marble toys here. We got 24 total. Uh, we still have two more boxes coming. So I spent like f over $500 on those. Found most of the OA X-Ray. All about timing with the OA X-Ray, guys. Now is a good time to look into the toy flipping. It's all about timing. Sign up for the newsletters. When you get that email saying there's a sale, day sale, two day sale, you jump on it like that. Okay? That's how you get the good deals. And... Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll walk you guys through my, my Christmas this year, my Christmas reselling. Last year went very well. This year, um, I plan to sign up for a service. I can't remember the name of it, but if you disable your ad blocker and your seller central, the ad comes up all the time. I think it was payability. So they charge you 250 I think, a month for the month, and then they do auto deposits every day. So if you're like me, you get deposits every two weeks, you sign up for this, you pay the 250 bucks for the month, and they auto deposit every day. So it doesn't matter how much money you have. You can start flipping in Christmas uh, with 500 bucks, and it doesn't matter because you keep flipping it and the money keeps ending up in your account. So that's, it's amazing. It's perfect. So that's what we're going to do this year. Velocity limits you have to watch out for because if you're not going to sell... You're gonna sell more, of course, during Christmas than any other time of year. Uh, Amazon, if it's your first velocity limit though, and you go over that, they could put you on a, a hold and, and check all your sales and not disburse money to you. So I don't know how that's gonna work with the payability thing, if they don't care and they still give you your money or what, but that's an interesting uh, uh, question right there. But uh, so you want to find out what your what your limit is. If you mail seller support, they'll tell you. Say what is my velocity limit? 
Because you want to know that number because if you're flipping a bunch of toys and then you're doing real well and then boom, you hit that velocity limit, now all of a sudden they're holding your money and they won't even tell you. They won't even tell you. When the day comes, you're supposed to disperse, disperse it, it just won't happen. And you'll be like, what the hell is going on? You'll email seller support and then that's when you'll find out if it happens. That's how it works with these velocity limits. So if you've never been through one, that's what could happen. If you've been through one before, they may decide to just raise your limit and just let you sell as normal. The good thing about the velocity limit though, even if they do go through your account and make sure everything's good, um, and it's not really something, like they do it to everyone, so it's not really something to be alarmed about. But, you know, if, if it's your first time, you know, you should expect it to happen. You should expect it to happen. But like I said, the good thing is, the good thing is that you could still sell. You might not get you that disbursement on time like you want to, but you could still sell. So you could still keep selling stuff. Hopefully you have income coming in from other places to keep flipping inventory. So I'll let you guys know how this goes. If you guys got some of these right now, I'm hearing that they're going to be doing constant shipments. And as much shit as I've talked about that thing, it actually does look pretty cool. Um, I just think for 60 bucks, man, you can just get so much better. Like I said, if you got a, a kid, uh, someone that, that wants one of these things, you can't find it. You know, you hate people like me because we're reselling it. Look, just get a Raspberry Pi, man. You know, get the Raspberry Pi, throw some ROMs on it. You can get three, four hundred games on that thing. Thirty bucks, get the controller. The prices aren't going to be jacked up to ridiculous levels. You'll be able to find them anywhere online, and it's just, it's just a, a more a better way to go. These things, you don't know if you're going to be able to get more games on those. That could be thirty games, and that's it. You can get any game you want. Just load it up on the Raspberry Pi. Just load it up. So, but yeah, that's my video. I got some books to list here. So I'm gonna list all those books hopefully soon. We got some doubles of pop-up books here. By the way, the Hatchimals, I haven't talked much about. These are hot right now. Um, most people that are, are doing reselling right now know about them already. They're impossible to freaking find, but uh, there are ways you can go about looking them up. You can um, you can check the store inventory with online inventory checkers right before they open. You can go in the morning and wait. You can call constantly. And of course, the whole thing is going to stores that people don't think of. I can tell you, they sell these things and even the, the mini, they sell them at stores that no one would even think to go to. So you gotta think of those places and call them and find out. But these guys, I got 60 a piece, and then I was able to sell them for uh, 125, I think. They sell for more on Amazon, but they're restricted. Um, but uh, you can sell them on eBay. But I got 125 for these guys. There's two or two or three store-specific ones at Walmart, Toys R Us, and, and possibly Target. And those are the ones that go for a lot of money. Like over two hundred dollars, Barakeet, and there's a couple other ones. I don't remember this one. Yeah, I don't remember the other ones. So those are good right now. There's a couple other toys that are that are, that are good right now, but things really pick up, you know, end of the month. So I'm still focusing on. I'm trying to focus on books at the same time. We got a lot of stuff going on. So so I decided to just put them on eBay because Craigslist was getting annoying. People kept lowballing me over and over. They're like, what's, they're like, they're like, what's lowest price can do? Like, like those exact words. I'm like, 185. And then I, and then, and then, then there's like a, then there's like a pause. Then there's like, can you deliver? And then, then they say, I'm from, insert town, two hours away. No, no, bro, I'm not delivering. And then uh, another guy, what is lowest price can do? 185, 150, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> 185, I can come right now. <laughs> Dude, they're going for like $400 right now, it's ridiculous. And if you don't believe me, so I listed them at 200 because that's what they were at. 
and uh, so it's sold like right away, right? And then like some white knight messages me, right? And he's like, what'd he say? He's like, raise your price, man, that's cheap. So I'm like, shit, all right. If he messaged me that fast, I must've fucked up. So I went back and tried to raise it. And before I could raise the damn price, someone bought one. So someone bought one at 200. I'm not gonna be that greedy though. I'm not gonna cancel his order, I'll send it out. And then, uh, so I raised it to 225. And then that one sold right away. So I'm like, shit. I'll raise it to 275. And then it slowed down. But uh, I'm gonna keep one. I'm gonna hold off on one, just in case. Just in case things get real crazy and price just gets insane, then at least I have one that I kept. The controllers are harder to find than the damn systems. And so are those extension cables. So those are harder to find. So if you can find anything to do with this thing, cables, controllers, arcade stick, anything, uh, I suggest you buy it because they're all gonna go for crazy prices. Just wanna give you an update. I'll let you know how it goes. I guess they're supposed to get more of these. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If they do, I'll be in line to get some. Better believe that.